Hi, this is Yusra Mardini. She's 17 years old and she lives in a suburb of Damascus in Syria. Yusra has a lot of friends and she loves to go to school in her hometown. Her father was a swimmer, but unfortunately he had to quit because he had to do military service. Because her father loved to swim, he wanted the same thing for his daughters. At a young age, her father threw Yusra and her sister Sarah into the water and taught them how to swim. Their dad wanted them to be the best swimmers in the world, and to achieve that, you have to practice a lot. Yusra trained two hours a day and she made it to the national team. Her coach even said that if she worked hard, she could make it to the Olympics one day. Yusra was now even more motivated to achieve this. But then the civil war came and everything changed for Yusra and her sister. Yusra could meet her friends as often as before and she couldn't swim as often as she wanted. She wasn't happy with her life in Syria. One day Yusra went to the training and she was swimming when suddenly she hears a sound of a shattering glass and people screaming. And in the clear water she sees an unexploded bomb. From this moment I realized my life is in danger and that I have to escape from Syria for a better life. To do this she and her bigger sister Sara had to leave her parents and her younger sister behind. I was so scared to leave my whole life and my family behind. If Sarah and I make it to Europe, we could be reunited. It was in 2015 when she and her sister fled together with a cousin of their father from Syria to Turkey through Lebanon. I am grateful that I don't have to go on this journey alone. Their father had saved up $10,000 for their flight. I was both honored and sad at the same time. He gave up everything in order to save us. In Turkey they could arrange a place on a smuggling boat. The boat was meant for six people, but over 21 people were on it. 15 minutes after they left the port of Izmir, the motor started failing. Most of the refugees on the boat couldn't swim. I could see the fear in the eyes of them. Yusra, her sister and a man got into the water and started pulling the boat after them. They dragged the boat for over three hours until they reached Lesbos. We were so exhausted that we were determined to keep going. I am so glad my father taught us how to swim, because otherwise we all would have died. From Greece they traveled by foot or buses arranged by smugglers over the Balkan route to Germany. In Hungary the authorities closed the main train stations for refugees. We had spent so much money on our train tickets. Now we were stranded and didn't know what to do. Eventually they made it to Austria and then Germany. As soon as we arrived in Germany, I hugged my sister and started crying. We made it! She settled in Berlin on a refugee camp and she just wanted a normal life. I looked for the nearest swimming pool because swimming reminds me of my life at home. I swam as often as I could and found a coach who helped me. Germany's elite sports school system supported Yusra Mardini. They guaranteed her a training scholarship. I had the opportunity to train twice a day in an Olympic standard pool. I was so grateful for this chance. Yusra used some of the money to get an apartment with her sister, not too far from the training center. Also, her parents and her two younger sisters have now joined them in Germany. Finally, after all this time we are family again. My dream was to swim at the Olympics in 2016 and I wouldn't give up my dream. The Olympic Committee announced a team of refugees at the Olympic Games in Rio. A message of hope for all the refugees in our world. Yusra Mardini was put on the list of the 43 refugees who are going to make it to the Olympics in Rio. I'm so grateful I have had the chance to be a part of the team. Competing at the Olympics has been a dream of mine since I was a young girl. Yusra used her talent to save 18 people. She wants to be an inspiration for everyone and she uses the attention that she has, she has received to help other refugees. I hope to return back to my home country, Syria, one day.